bitch Woody check it and check it out. Now, listen, when the hate don't work, man, they just flat out start making up lies, okay? Now, one thing I really do not like is fabricated fuckery, right? Because there's a rapper, his name is Stitches. He's supposedly a rapper because I've only heard songs of his when he's dissing like someone else extremely popular. But apparently he's a rapper. Now he's been trying to get famous for the longest, okay? Him being partially white, that didn't help. Him having a bunch of tattoos, that didn't help. Him making music, that didn't help. So what is he doing now? Possibly trolling. Now, these days, you can't tell when people are trolling when they tell the truth, so you kind of got to watch them and see how they move, and then you'll figure it out in the end. But he wants, and this is how the rap game is really deteriorated, right? Him and his homie, right? They want their claim to fame to be that supposedly one or both of them donkey fucked Kylie Jenner. Yes, yes, I, I know what you're thinking. Guys want to get famous over banging a Kardashian. Shit's crazy. That's what they want to get famous for. They're desperate for fame. Now, not only do those claims seem kind of false, right? Nevertheless, these two guys, Stitches and his homies, Beavis and Butthead, they have kind of went on a elaborate scheme to try to make people believe that they actually fuck Kylie. They provided screenshots. They made diss songs. They got all type of event. Listen, at one point, he did an interview with a magazine because, you know, magazines, they'll pick up anything that runs against the Kardashians or runs against or for them. And they did, listen, they're switching up stories. All of a sudden, Stitch is made of, like, some real big lies saying, hey, man, I was fucking Kylie Jenner. And the interviewer was like, god damn, so ooh, the, the Kylie Jenner actually calls you Stitches? He said, yeah, she usually does. But when I was long dicking her, she called me daddy. It was funny. Funny shit. But now when you realize that these guys are serious, you're like, Shraggy? Is, is niggas really trying to come up off a Kardashian? One that just became 18? Now, this is where it gets a little bit too far, right? Because, of course, they're not beefing with Tyga. They're putting money on Tyga's chain, this and third. Except one of their friends. And this is where it's going to, right? One of their friends was so disgusted by the fuckery and just the patheticness of the entire situation. They actually reached out to Stitch's friend, who supposedly was the one that fucked Kylie Jenner. And basically said, listen, because if you don't know, they put up some fake screenshots saying, oh yeah, this is the conversation in the background with uh, Kylie Jenner. And basically... The friend texted him like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? And actually, I'll read it here because the guy said, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Chicks get smashed every day, B. Why are you going so hard? Now, this is where the truth comes up. Because the guy named Ink Mobstar, which is Stitch's friend, he finally lets the cat out of the bag. He said, shit, just to get media buzzing. Any publicity is good publicity, okay? Now, basically, the guy replied to him and said, you looking like a fuck nigga, trying to get famous off a lay on some superhead shit? Go write a book, bitch nigga. And then he responded. He said, I didn't even smash her. Chill with all of that. Now, obviously, and by the way, this has been confirmed. This is one of his friends I actually texted him. Now, this is where the game is going, okay? A bunch of people who didn't have the talent to make it. Now, they resort to trolling, and that's how they think they're going to make it. Now, I've been saying it for the longest. A guy like Stitches, man, unless you come with the music and to keep it real, the more and more you keep trolling, people dislike you, which means, yeah, you might be quote unquote, because a lot of people are like, yo, you're making them relevant. You might be somebody that people kind of know the name, but they'll never take you serious. And because they'll never take you serious and they kind of chalk it as a joke, you're not going to go anywhere. Okay, not only that, I told you again, you burned all the goddamn bridges in the industry. Nobody wants to work with you, right? You are the person that is persona non grata, okay? Now, pretty much, this is just flat out disgusting and something that we just can't tolerate, man. I think the trolling hip-hop is going way too far. Rappers are trying to build careers just off trolling. What part of the game is this? Now, also, this guy, supposedly, he's, like, not white. So he kind of looks white to me, right? He drops the N-word a lot. We'll talk about it another time, but, god damn, what do you guys think about this, Okay. Pretty much, him and his homie has been exposed to, they never fucked Kylie Jenner, okay? And by the way, if we even think about it, the time that they're talking about they allegedly fucked her, she was a minor. That's like it meant to statutory rape. Even Tiger, and Tiger's a horny, desperate motherfucker too. He wouldn't do that. Okay, get in the comments, guys. Like, definitely subscribe. It's Woody Check Academics. I'm out.